I'm writing episode one. We've broken the first three episodes, so uh, uh, we'll finish breaking episode three this week. And then, uh, you know, we usually spend about a week to ten days breaking an episode, and then a writer or two will go off to write, and uh, um, and then we'll uh, move forward. So, I, but I'll probably turn in uh, a script at the end of the week, a first draft of the first episode. You know, I think really for me. Their relationship is going to be, you know, have different challenges this year. You know, I think Tara's made the decision to be in, so her, her conflict isn't so much am I in or out. It's I'm in, now who am I in, in this world? You know, and I, and I think, you know, the stress of, of Jax's, you know, the stress of Jax's new job, you know, being president and the responsibilities and everything that comes along with that will begin to impact that relationship, not unlike it. Uh, you know, it, it, it can impact any any relationship. You know, um, and uh, you know, and we'll see them. You know, I think ultimately we'll see them continue to to that relationship to get deeper and more committed, as even as much as we 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 continue to challenge it. You know, I just feel like I don't want to lead them. It's not we're going to lead them down to a road where we think they're going to you know not make it. You know, so it'll be different challenges than that this season. I steal from the best, so uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's definitely a little, uh, uh, a little Michael Corleone, you know, Godfather Three. You know, every time I tr try to get out, they pull me back in. You know, I think there's definitely some of that going on. I think that was John Teller's, his his dad. I think there was some of that with him. Um, uh, you know, there's that need to sort of, at the end of the day, maybe distance yourself from some of the violence and some of the death and you know uh, that a lot of these guys experience and and uh, so I think Jax definitely uh, uh, has some of that and uh, you know this season I think it really is about for me and, and I guess this could would be a theme is that you know with Jax as the head at the table how does he you know can he lead that club can he be the president of an outlaw organization and not become clay and if he chooses not to become Clay, is he then forced to suffer the fate of his father? You know, so it'll be the balance of, of those two, you know, paternal figures in his life and trying to figure out who he is as a leader. All that stuff will be fun to play with. What's the vice of the season? Uh, you know, it's it's a little bit of the. It's just I think all that stuff has been set up. You know, so the the cartel and the gun thing will continue. Um, I don't know if there's a new twist on any of that this season. Uh, if you know, we're really just sort of getting into uh, uh, you know the middle arc of the season, which is you know really five through episode nine, and and that's kind of where we'll usually play with new stuff. So we're not really there yet to figure out what that new stuff is. But uh, but the ones we've established will will still be around. So. There'll be plenty of disgusting things for everyone. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. She loves it. I thought you meant in, in just in general. Uh, no, she uh, uh, she's fantastic, and she's you know uh, she has complete faith in me, and and uh, and and really you know loves the challenges that uh, that I present for Gemma, and is always sort of excited to you know show up to work, and uh, it's why we are able to do this. I think because we both love what we do, you know, and I think if. Uh, uh, you know, if it was a miserable experience, it would be hard to do for both of us. But, uh, you know, we both love the job, so. It's uh, our YouTube channel, yes, and I answer fan questions, try to do it every week. What I usually do is I'll give little updates. Uh, the, the truth is I've just become a lazy blogger, and it's like, it's like so much work now to write. So between Twitter, it's just, you know, completely killed my blogging. So uh, uh, I figure I'll do a little video blogs, it's easier. So I'll give fans updates, and then I'll usually answer a couple questions.